Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and welcome to my channel today. Today is Tuesday, February 26th, I believe. Yep, 26th of February. Almost to the end of uh, February here. Just a couple more days to go. Yeah, so um, we're just getting going here. Stuff in the barn. And as you can see, I was just, we we're just sanitizing the line and stuff. So I'm just getting the cows up here. I'm gonna start scraping off behind the cows because they always leave their messes. Come on, girls. Let's get up here. <laughs> so yeah, we get the cows up and this stuff here. So come on, get up, girls. Time to wake up. Come on. I'm um, gonna have to get the sorting stick. But yeah, so we're getting the cows up, and um, as far as what we got going on around here today, um, we just gotta say, like I said yesterday, we gotta grind a couple batches of feed, one for the calves and one for the milk cows. So pretty much what you got, what we got going on here today, and uh, and hopefully here's something from the trucking company that's gonna get the beans here. So. Um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna keep going here with chores. We're gonna get milking and get going here with the feeding chores and uh, get moving for the day and see what else, see what um, other surprises, hopefully not surprises, are, are waiting us throughout the day. So um, I'll check back with you guys. Um, my girl, will check back with you later. So. Over and out for now. See what he says. Uh, well, I really, uh, you know, got some, but I have to eat, so I can play it with five myself. Oh, and, uh, you just swapped the hay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That would be so. Okay, um, you just heard. Yeah, I was just on the phone. We're trying to find some more um, hay for like young stock because basically this bag that I'm getting out of now. Once we're done with this, we don't have any like lower quality chopped hay or haylage to feed the young stock. I'm talking like the calves and the bread heifers and things like that. They don't need high quality, high protein hay. So, uh, yeah, I was just talking to another organic farmer that I that we uh, that we work with and seeing if he had some. And he had he uh, he has some hay that would work for us, but he has some stock cows of his own, and you know he doesn't he doesn't have those certified organic. So if he could find some like regular conventional hay to replace it with another source that he said he could sell that to us, obviously uh, for organic price, and he'd make more money on it than that probably than actually putting it to his other cows that he does, he does conventionally. But uh, we just like he's not he doesn't live too far away, and he probably lives like 15 miles away from here. But like I say, anytime you can get your hay. For your anything from your closest source, it's, it's always cheaper as far as shipping costs, and that's kind of what, what we're looking for. Uh, we do have another guy that we could another organic farm that lives probably 35 miles, 30, 40 miles away from here. So this other guy doesn't have anything, and we'll probably try him. Uh, or maybe we'll try that other guy another person but yeah like I say we, we got to get some hay lined up here pretty soon um, I don't know sometimes we could use a little more hay ground we could just use a little bit more land in general it seems like sometimes they never have enough of the land not so bad picking up more land in the farm if you can get it close by I'm hoping that someday we can pick up another field, another neighbor's field, uh, just a mile down the road. There's another neighbor that, that I think that 
there's a big farmer that rents their land. It's about like 65 acres of land. And well, he's not like a big, big farmer now, but he is a bigger farmer. And, and the guy, I'm sure he's gonna be retiring pretty soon, maybe in another few years. And I just don't think that his son, his son helps out, but I just don't think that he's really interested in he doesn't like farming as much as his dad does, and so I just don't think that he's gonna be. I just don't know if he's gonna take it over or not. Uh, but this one field that our neighbors have, I mean, they don't farm themselves. They only have, they only own, I think, oh, what is it, like, uh, probably like 80, 80, 90 acres of land totals on the old. They bought the building site, they bought the land around. It. Possibility that they might rent or they would like to rent that land out to us if another guy doesn't work out. That's what we're hoping for someday. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But like I say, that's kind of like just like you say, the closer you get your land, the better. And of course, you're always competing with your neighbors, but if we could offer our neighbors a good, you know, land rent price, that's the benefit of being organic right now is. You could pay more rent money than your neighbor's paying because you get more money for your crops than you can get that land. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens someday if we can pick up some more land. And I just want to pick up land that's actually close. I don't like going real far away to farm, farm land. Yeah, if we get that bigger tractor this spring, if we ever get our beans out of here, we get that check and get our, we want to get that other loan paid off, that way we can see what we have left over, and get some, get another piece of equipment paid off that we're financing out, so we can get that other tractor, that's just like logistics, 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 you gotta get Playing the waiting game, waiting for money. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna keep loading this up and I'll get back to the guys later. I don't know. We got to like say we still gotta grind those two batches of beads, so. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'm just just uh, babbling on here. So So we'll see what happens. You know, I was just kind of uh <laughs> I was kind of just looking at these, uh, the snow is getting kind of built up in here and it really wouldn't take too much for these calves here to hop over that little, to hop over this thing right here. <laughs> I don't know, I think we might have to, if the snow gets any higher, I think we might have to take and run a hot wire, stick it up a little higher and run it over here, even over here too. This is, the snow is, we need to redo this section of fence someday. But yeah, they can hop over this thing pretty easy. I'm just glad they haven't figured it out. Yeah. Don't figure it out, okay guys? Stay in here. They won't have to put up any, any other fence here. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they listen to me. Okay, everybody. Um, I'm standing up on top of the, this grain bin here right now. And uh, I was I climbed up here because I want to look in that bin. That's the oats bin there. And I'd like to see how much stuff is in there. Um, there's not a ladder on the outside of that one. It's either I take the ladder down and put it up over there. I really don't want to, but I don't think I'm gonna try going down this thing. Normally we just walk down this and hop over the other one, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't wanna fall down there. If it wasn't icy, I would do it, but um, yeah, I just thought as long as I was grinding the oats um, while I was waiting for that, I'd come up here and check, but it's just too icy. I don't want to risk it. I just kind of want to see what, how many oats are in there so we can get a, kind of get an idea. 
maybe I'll just wait for a warmer day and try it. It's just too much work to move that ladder over there and it's too clumsy. So, yep. Anyways, yeah, here's what it looks like up here on top of this bin. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it is cold. It's cold up here. Uh, I'm gonna climb back down here and uh, oh. So uh, anyways, um, yeah, I'm just grinding the oats for the calves here right now. So uh, then I gotta go grind the corn and uh, then grind a batch of feed for the cows. Yay! Okay, everybody, um, feeding chores are all done. Another day is gone. <laughs> One day closer to spring, well, we hope. One day closer to spring. It doesn't seem like that right now. It's like, uh, I think it's like two above zero right now. So it warmed up from this morning, which was like four below zero or something like that. <laughs> Not much, but yeah. So anyways, <clears throat> I would just like to end this video by talking about what we are hoping and planning on doing this spring. And that is we are hoping to trade this tractor in. Yes, trade this in. Um, we are actually eyeing up at the New Holland dealership um, a uh, 2003 um, TG210, a New Holland TG210 tractor that we're hoping to trade in for this. Um, or, or not, excuse me, we're hoping to trade that tractor in for 
for the TG210. And um, yeah, so anyways, um, <clears throat> yesterday when my brother, like I say, when he went to get the power shaft fixed down there, the New Holland dealership for uh, this tractor, he, uh, he was talking to the owner slash salesman. He's the owner and the salesman there. <laughs> And anyways, um, <clears throat> he uh, he said that about in a couple weeks, you know, he's going to be gone next week. And then he said, after that, he's going to he's going to come up here and um, look at this tractor and see what he would give us, um, or for a trading value on it. And then, um, so yeah, we told him we were pretty serious about it, um, about getting this thing. We're not like we're not like a hundred percent, a hundred. I'm going to be 100, 100% certain that we're actually going to do the deal. Uh, like I said, a lot just depends on like what we end up for a check for those soybeans. If they ever come and get them, which we have not heard anything from them yet. Or we haven't heard anything from the trucking outfit yet, but I'm just guessing they're behind. Because like I said yesterday, like the snow that they got, all that, that big snowstorm that they got over the weekend. So I'm sure they're running behind schedule again. Thanks. No thanks to the weather. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, probably what we're gonna do is, um, um, yeah, I know there's all the John Deere people are freaking out. They're saying, no, don't get a New Holland. Well, uh, no, um, John Deere is just too expensive. Um, the reason why we're trading this tractor in is because, it's not because, you know, we hate this tank, they hate the tractor, it's because it's two wheel drive. It does not have four wheel drive capability. If it had four wheel drive capabilities, yeah, maybe we'd keep it. But it's just that it's two wheel drive and it's just, it's, it's not suiting our needs anymore. That's, that's the biggest thing. It just is not suiting our needs. Um, it's just to the point where um, we just need to update to something that's four wheel drive capabilities. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what, what we want to do is just. Um, do that. I'm just gonna set you guys right here and talk. I don't have to hold the camera. And um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're hoping for is to do that. You know, hopefully everything goes good and we can get it on the tractor. It has low hours on it. Like I say, it's a 2003. It has low hours on it. I think it only has like it's either 3,000 hours on it. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up again. It's either 2,600 hours or 3,600 hours on it. It's low hours, so it's in really good shape. So um, depends on what you know he'll give us for a trading value for that tractor. But you know, when, when we bought this tractor back in 2005, you know, it suited our needs. It was good enough for what we needed it for at the time. It's just that we've outgrown it, and it just we just need something that has more traction and a tad bit more horsepower. I mean. This track has 180 horsepower. You know, it is, it's pretty good. Um, you know, if it had mechanical front wheel drive, it would, it would probably be good enough for us, but it just, and it doesn't. And that's what it's lacking is for that four wheel drive capability. Um, I think if, too, if we get that other tractor, we might, we might see if we get duels for the front end. That way we get a little more traction. We might see if we get duels for that. I don't know yet if we're going to do that. And I don't think we're going to get GPS for it. We would like to, but maybe later on we'll get it installed in there. But we'll just see. So that's kind of what we're planning for this spring is to trade that thing off and um, yeah, get a new Holland. If John Deere was cheaper, we'd go with John Deere, but we, John Deere just can't compete with the price. Um, you know, I like John Deere, but it just... Right now, it all comes down to money, and we get, we we've done so much business with that New Holland dealership that uh, you know they always been good to us. They give us a good deal, and I know the owner. We know him really well, and you know he's not gonna he's not gonna screw us over. He hasn't screwed us over on anything yet, and he's not gonna screw us over on that. So, um, I'm I, he he does not sell you crap. He does not sell you crap. So. Or junk or whatever you want to say so that's kind of what we're you know, hoping to do and um, I hope it works out so hopefully they come and get those beans this week hopefully we hear something tomorrow from the trucker trucking company <sighs> I just want to get those beans out of here Arr.
<laughs> I get so flustered by it that yeah so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we can do this but you know, first we need the money for those beans depends on what he'll, what he'll give us for this tractor you know I don't know what it's worth being you know it's, it's in fairly good shape we've tried to maintain it do a good job with it um, you know when we bought it in 2005 we paid 18,500 for it and we paid that in cash at the time straight out for it so obviously it ain't worth that now but it's um like I say it's got a, the engine's good at the only thing is the injectors need to be tuned up on it the injectors need to be gone through it's got a short block you know 466 engine in, in it and um yeah what I mean by short block you need what is it no a short block is where they they had taken they had to put oversized sleeves in there. I'm just pretty sure that's what it is. Um, yeah, they had to bore the block out with the sleeves going and put oversized sleeves. So that means a short block. And uh, so that an engine that's in it's not the original engine that came with the tractor. It's another remanufactured engine. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So anyways, guys. Um, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I was not originally going to finish up my video talking about this, but it got dark out, so I couldn't do my other thing that I was going to do the video about or finish up my video about for the day. So, yeah, so stay tuned, guys. We're going to, you know, we don't know for sure how it's all going to play out, but um, you got something to look forward to. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry to all the John Deere people. <laughs> I mean, John Deere just can't, I'm... If, if they could offer us a better deal, maybe we'd go with it, but I mean, John Deere is just too expensive. We can't afford it, and uh, that's, just, that's just how it goes. So you got to do what you can afford, and upgrading to a 200-plus two, horsepower tractor is going to be a big step up for us. I would, ideally, we would like to get a 300 horse, but you know, you, know, you got to do what you can afford, I guess. So maybe someday things get better we can you know trade up get something a little bit bigger maybe we could maybe, maybe we can trade that tractor off and <laughs> so anyways um that's pretty much what i wanted to finish up the video about today so um yeah so i gotta eat something here yet and um so anyways yeah so um hope you everybody enjoyed the video today um I'll definitely keep you guys posted on what happens with the soybeans. Watch um, your community tab. Maybe I'll post a picture on there if they come and get them. So I'll get a picture of them loading them. So just stay tuned. And um, yeah, there's going to be good stuff to come in the spring here. So hey, bear with me. I know I'm trying to come up with things to do videos about every day because I feel like otherwise it just gets to be the same. I feel like it gets to be the same old thing, but maybe not to you guys, but to me it does. So. Um, yeah so anyways i gotta go here so um before i go um i want to give a shout out i had a a young farmer give me um who's a big fan of mine and um he made a special request and i normally don't give shout outs too often but being he's a young farmer he's a young 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 guy and he's just he wants to a little help getting his youtube channel off the ground so if you can go check out GoPro Farmer, um, go subscribe to his channel, check him out. He's just getting started, and I hope you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, um, go check him out. Um, maybe I'll put a link down in the description. I'll see here. So um, yeah, so there you go, GoPro Farmer. Um, I gave you a shout out. So um, like I said, go check out his channel. He's just just a young, young farmer, young guy looking to, uh, you know, grow his, expand his YouTube channel. So, um, so anyways, with that, um, thanks everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs down. And um, please, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And tap the notification bell at the top so that way you know when I put out a video, otherwise you might not know. And um, 
and appreciate it if you share this video with a friend friend or family member um, it helps me to get more subscribers if you share the video and um, oh check me out on instagram and twitter at organic dairyman and uh boy yeah and i, I just want to say too i appreciate each and every one of you um that has taken the time to subscribe to my channel i appreciate all your comments and i was like i always have to apologize sorry that if i don't get back to your comments right away i'm a pretty busy person i don't you know i when i get free moments i'll sit down you know answer respond back to comments on my phone so but yeah so um like i say stay tuned we'll see what happens here with this tractor so anyways i gotta go so thanks again for watching hope you enjoy the video and i will catch you later